I really have no idea what I'm doing. Actually, I have kind of a clue. I have enough to, to keep it dangerous, you know. But yeah, so this machine here, uh, we've been working on it for, oh, I don't know, last, uh, last month or so. We got the brakes on the actual truck fixed and we got some mechanical issues with the winches and uh and the clutches and all that stuff sort of worked out and and we actually sort of uh ran this thing for a few minutes and was able to get the walking beam going and everything just fine so we're going to go ahead and attempt to drill a well today got a couple other guys showing up and they're gonna bring some drill mud and we were hoping to get some casing, but it looks like we're not going to get steel casing. We wanted to drive it because the wells are shallow here. We'll probably hit water within 50, 60 feet. But uh, John says 75, so I guess we're going to find out. But at any rate, um, yeah, I would have liked to drill and drove casing down simultaneously, but it is what it is. And uh, it looks like she's about ready to go. Um, we just got to drill a pilot hole. I brought my little backhoe and um, so with that we're just going to drill maybe a, a little channel or somewhere where the uh, all the all the water that we pull out of the hole can go so apparently this is where they've witched it or doused I don't like that word witched sounds evil but um, they doused it and uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to level this machine out, make sure it's level. That should be the center of my hole. So I got a post hole digger. I'm going to I'm going to try and get down two or three feet to get a starter hole going. And uh, hopefully the other guys will show up by then, and we can fire this this mud sucker up and uh, see if we can't make something go to thumping. So I guess I guess that side's got to go up a little. So. I just need to find the hand crank and see if we can't get that thing raised up. Okay, it looks like I kind of lucked out. Just happen to have the right size wrench here. I was kind of expecting one of those big handles, but I guess this works just fine. Showed that other side was high. I guess I could just put some more weight on the back of this thing. And uh, the baler's all hooked up. I guess we can get this. kind of out of the way and uh, this contraption here is for actually starting the hole you know I just noticed something here so the way we're gonna level this is I noticed This is not in line with the center of the mast. So I'm gonna go ahead and raise this until it's in the center of the mast and lined up maybe with that, that ball hitch right there. That might be the better way to go. Okay, I think we're about there. That looks good. This thing's kind of like a big giant plumb bob, you know. It knows where center's at. It knows exactly where to go. So yeah, so I guess I'll make a mark there, and we'll uh, we'll commence to digging that. On the digger there, 
and uh, since John has just had heart surgery, we figured he's the perfect candidate to run this thing. I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Fritz just had hip surgery. He's up next. <laughs> Are you feeling? Yeah. This is called the, the GIMP well drilling operation. Huh? GIMP Incorporated. Hmm? <laughs> Maybe you could explain to the good folks at YouTube what just happened. Pairs like the inner hub busted on this this clutch assembly here. So it looks like we got to take the whole clutch assembly apart, and uh, maybe we can weld it. We hope. Yeah. Be back in business in a day or so. Okay, we got that off. Now all this 
here has to be disassembled. Yeah. Once we get that off, we're pretty much have it made. Okay. We'll have access. Uh, what do I need? Or? Huh? Like it was busted before? No. This here is a sliding hub here that this bearing assembly slides on to engage the clutch. And I think that's fine. Can you move that handle a little? Explain what happened today. What happened? We got the drill in. Everything was yeah. fine. It's kind of tough getting started because the bit kind of jumps around. Once you get down about three or four feet, it starts to smooth right out. And then we noticed that clutch was slipping a little bit on the walking beam. So we tried to tighten that here, and of course we didn't get it locked. So the minute we started it up, it unspun itself and came apart. Luckily nothing was busted. We were able to get it going again. But that cut about uh, two hours out of our day, didn't it? Yeah, it lost about two hours. But we went the full length of our drill bit. And then some a little bit. Yeah, so. So we can uh, drive some casing down tomorrow and. Yeah. This guy's a Hollywood star. Oh, yeah. So, Mr. Fritz. Man, Filson are tight. <laughs> He's a model for Filson. Who's Filson? Sporting Goods. So, you guys are looking at the, the, the model for Filson right here. <laughs> That's who we're... Dakota.